Vision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, this is likely Virga or precip that's evaporating before it hits the ground. The air's pretty dry, but there's obviously a pretty thick mid-level cloud deck that's overspreading the viewing area. This is a warm front that's gradually working northward. Now, over the next few days, warm front's going to move north, but the tropical moisture with remnants of two tropical storms down here and a lot of tropical moisture coming off the Atlantic will begin to be pulled northward as an area of high pressure in New England drifts southeastward. Then some of these really strong wind dynamics. You know, we had uh, reports of two tornadoes in Idaho tonight and hail up to two inches in diameter in central Utah. These are very strong wind fields up in the atmosphere. And as these strong wind fields overspread the moisture coming northward and a cold front arriving from Canada, this area will get severe weather here over the next coming days. As for us, it looks like it may stay just northwest of here, but we're still looking at some scattered showers and storms in this forecast with them peaking in coverage by Friday. So warmer and more humid, two key words of this forecast. It's going to feel a little more like summer, especially on Thursday. Uh, a few scattered showers and storms. Uh, they'll be isolated tomorrow. Uh, a few tomorrow night, a few on Thursday, more widespread on Friday with, again, that severe weather threat of some of those strong wind fields upstairs overspread the western corn belt. Uh, just northwest here, that's where the severe threat will be. And then turning a little bit cooler, but it still does not look really cold or really cool for the upcoming weekend. Still going to be above normal. Everybody's in the 50s tonight, warmer than all the 40s we had this morning. 55 Lafayette down to Linden and New Richmond. 53 Frankfurt, 51 Logansport, and 53 from Monticello up towards Wolcott. Tomorrow, 80 or better, west half, east half, 74 Peru, 75 Rochester, but there's the 82 at Lafayette and the 82 degrees at Pine Village as the warm front lifts northeastward. And then we're bathed in summer on Thursday, 85 Atlanta, but 87 Lafayette, 91 degrees at Morocco and 88 at Monticello. Dew points up around 70, so it's going to feel a little bit on the juicy side. Now, this is tomorrow morning around 1130. You know, there may be a very spotty shower in the morning, but that would be it, though. And then tomorrow afternoon, partly cloudy. Winds out of the south and southwest, and a couple little isolated showers and thunder showers around. That's seven tomorrow night. And, and even as we get into tomorrow night and even into Thursday, notice a few widely scattered showers and storms around. Coverage 20% tomorrow, about 30 to 40% on Thursday. Better chances of storms uh, move in here by Friday. So the warm front lifts northward. These are the strong wind fields up in the atmosphere. Here comes the moisture, so a few scattered shower storms here where the strong upper level winds are. That's where the severe threat will be. Front comes in Friday with storms here, but notice where the upper level winds are that are strong just northwest of here. So main severe threat just northwest of here, but we'll keep an eye on it and see if we have to expand it. Nonetheless, showers and storms, especially Friday, 84. And then the weekend looks good, 75 on Saturday. 77 Sunday, and it is back to 80 degrees on Tuesday, 48 on Sunday morning. But, you know, when the normal low is about 51, 52 this time of year, that's pretty close to normal. And even the highs next week, 